Hey everybody, Mark from TGC, and this is another Maker's Eye review, part four. This is probably, I can say that I saved the best for last, but honestly, each one has been kind of like a mother load. But this one promises like, I think, 200 plus in one creations, a wing giant kit. So yeah, we're gonna be opening up Try right now, right after this. Okay, at the risk of saying something I've said before, this has some really interesting stuff in it, and we're going to open it up right now. Uh, it comes in this nice handy dandy, I don't know, tote, for lack of a better term. So yeah, uh, let's just take off this guy and see what we've got inside. Yeah, huh, he's interesting. Alright, let's see what's on the... Okay, we got a parts list in the back of this, and there are many parts. So yeah, um, I keep comparing these things to LEGO Technic because what else are you going to compare it to? Seriously. I mean, it's easy to do that. Okay, so, oh my gosh, there's a programmable building box course. They gave me this thing. Um, so there's like a course on this? Okay, this is the first time I've seen this in any given Makerzoid product. Uh, am I going to try it out? Maybe. Okay, so like the other one that I reviewed that was kind of like this, like a tote, I don't quite remember that one. Link? Maybe? Yeah, we'll put a link there. Anyway, so it comes with like a stuff, like a handle for this thing. It comes with this thing? Oh gosh, what the heck is this thing? I'm gonna have to... Seriously, I thought this was a brick remover or a brick separator. I think when I reviewed the other kit, there was already a separator in there. Very similar to the one that LEGO puts out. Uh, we got some rubber bands and string here. Uh, we've got some sensors here. I believe they're sensors. Uh, the wire in between, because um, sensors come in two forms in this. There's a part that connects to the battery part, and then there's a part that is actually doing the sensor in. I notice that this has a longer wire to it than the other one over here. We have two motors, so that's interesting. And these motors look like they connect to what appears to be a battery pack, which we'll uh, try out for sure. Um, also, there's some treads here, just on the top, uh, for the yeah, cool tank functions. As for the next level, this is where we're going to get into the nice cool manual, which is a lot thicker than the regular manuals. And yeah, so they have, uh, just trying to look at here, they have a stretch car, whatever the heck that is. Oh, is this a poster? Okay, I've never seen a poster in this here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it appears they have like uh, different courses here. Robotic uh, programmable courses. This might be related to uh, Mr. Card that I pulled out earlier. Could be. Uh, yeah. So let's see. So we have here uh, a lot of reports. Okay, it seems like every time I open these things, these pieces, for lack of a better term, are mixed oddly. Sometimes the gears come in a bag of their own. This in case we mix it in with all kinds of stuff. They had a piece separator that I was talking about. So uh, let me just do this in order. Uh, that was one, here's two. We have some axles in it and some stuff. Yeah. There's also two. Hmm. Interesting. Actually, you know what, forget it, I've got the numbers we're, we're repeating. There's one, and there's two, and the one, and the one, there is. So, eh, call it weird. Okay, and then we get down here, and we got the wheels and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Remember, compatible with LEGO Technic. So, and I've tried it. Okay, now that I've tried that out, I'm thinking about going into the program and seeing, or at least the app, seeing what I can make with this. I really want to make something that takes advantage of all the programming tools that I've seen so far. Last time, in part three, I made a, uh, a card with a sensor in front that uh, showed what this thing can do. Uh, since this has sensors and motors, this should be very interesting. So let's see what we can do. Okay, there's like uh, so many categories on this, like basic, mechanical, YL core. YL core, don't be young learning core. Mm -hmm. Electric engineering, electric YL core, electric animal, junior programming, advanced building, uh, advanced programming, space series, and of course, newly updated program. 
wow, hey, they actually have some stuff here, uh, which I kind of like. So, eh, very cool. Boy, I could really spend hours on this, but honestly, I didn't really have the time. I mean, I really only uh, delegate uh, quite a few hours a week in programming. Uh, by programming, I mean, uh, you know, making videos. So yeah, I wish I could uh, build every combination of everything here, but um, and maybe we could do that, but uh, huh. Okay, I'm going to go to the advanced programming. Um, let's see, I've got a crab, got a patrol car, I'm kind of tired of making cars. i got a Tyrannosaurus Rex advanced, and it looks like it's the one that's located here. That would probably be the most fun to make, and I'm thinking about doing that one. We have a Mistegosaurus, a woodpecker for crying out loud. There's this an offshore crane. Oh wow. Uh, string dash? Tower crane. The string. So we got a ladder, which. Hmm. Uh, oh hey, a forklift. Hey, that's awesome. And a bridge crane. Uh, egg beater. Uh, double motor forklift. Not bad. Robot. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go for the Tyrannosaurus Rex Advanced because I can build it, code it, and control it. So those are uh, three things I want to do. So uh, without further ado, I think I'm just gonna do that. And uh, yeah. Okay. It took about an hour, but I built this dinosaur here thanks to the instructions. And I don't think I used these instructions here. I think I used the automatic ones. Yeah. Uh, there's like so many instructions on here that I can do. Let me show you what this can do. See how his legs move? That's pretty fresh. Now, this thing has two sets of controls. One that I use to control the movement of the legs. This other one, I can't figure out what it does. But basically, there's like a sensor here, and I believe I put the sensor in correctly. So, um, yeah, I thought maybe this would, uh, like, is the sensor? Maybe if it's like the sensor's activated, it'll do something, but uh, nothing. I can't figure out what it does or what it's supposed to do. Uh, I'm gonna just try something here real quick. Okay, it says that I can create a con uh, control, so there's this. This is where we get into this blocky program. I think I've talked about this before. This uh, programming language that honestly, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just say, I don't really know how to do it, but I'm gonna just try this. Yeah. Okay, first it's gotta connect here. The thing that joins might be a Bluetooth, and I put in a motor and a battery pack for it. So, yeah, that's kinda cool. That actually exists for this. Okay, nothing we haven't seen before in other uh, technical construction methods. So sometimes it takes a while for it to pair though, and that's kind of crazy. Especially when you hold it against it. Sometimes it'll pair like right away, and then sometimes it just. I've kind of noticed this in a lot of uh, similar things that I've uh, dealt with in the past. So, hmm. Okay, I better give you a price on this. The price is about $119.90. It's the most expensive kit from Makerzoid, uh, this particular one. Uh, at least the one I could find. Now, I could be wrong. Maybe there's one that's a bit more pricey. Uh, I definitely want to review more of these. I'm definitely going to get to my final uh, analysis of this thing. Um, as someone who has written a book on Lego Technic, two books, uh, three, which uh, one of them will be releasing very soon, I have to admit that uh, the Makerzoid um, line is incredibly similar to it. In fact, it uh, goes along with it uh, entirely, fits and works together. I've tried and it does work. Sadly, I feel like LEGO does have a corner on that market. So anything like this, I feel like um, this is going to be overshadowed by LEGO. However, there's a gap in the market. LEGO took off their uh, Mindstorms series quite a while ago off the market. This could easily take its place at a lower price. And if you have students who are into STEAM type learning, uh, they've got science, technology, engineering, art, and mechanics, this would be something that they would just love. And I 
would have loved this as a kid. I probably would have, uh, I don't know, maybe would have uh, gotten on to be as smarter than I actually am. Who knows? So yeah, that's my final review of it. Is it better than Lego? I have to say, it certainly is smarter than Lego is now. Because since the Mindstorms thing got the boot, this is about as Mindstorms as it gets right now. So yeah, and it's at a very much of a lower price. You can do a lot of these things, and they even tell you how to do the things with it. So they have all the instructions there. They have the pre-coded codes for this stuff. There's a lot of construction kits out there like this. I did a review of Jimmy Robots a while ago from UB Tech. I even wrote a book on that. And um, it's, so it's kind of crazy how much uh, there is in the market now these days. And I think these are marketed toward educators and um, schools, and they can probably think they can sell a lot of them, make a good profit on them, because, yeah, I mean, it all comes down to the money. Lego might be making hand over fist when it comes to uh, what they do. This should be making some uh, good money, too. Anyway, I'm pretty much finished with my Maker's Own uh, series. So this has been Mark Rollins from the Geek Church, signing off.